What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to give you guys a huge shout out for, thanks for being on the channel. I appreciate you guys and love each and every one of you. I can't believe we've made it this far into the YouTube journey. So thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to hang out with me. But today we're gonna check out some of our favorite or at least some of the more popular sugar-free drink mixes that you can find at your local grocery stores. And the reason why, I absolutely love these. Well, to be honest, Starburst is my absolute favorite and it's pretty much been the only sugar-free drink mix that I've really tried out of all these. So we're gonna dive into these in just a second, but the reason why I figured this information might be helpful is, well, if you've seen my Starburst, or at least Rafael Leone's Starburst Anabolic Ice Cream review that I had done sometime last year, I'll go ahead and pin the video up in the right-hand corner but we had used the Starburst sugar-free drink mix, and this is a great option to quickly flavor up your drinks, but also anabolic ice creams, and create some different flavors that you probably normally, like probably wouldn't ever really think of, right? And at the same time, these work well for your overnight oats. So if you're new to the channel, I'm Jason Alexander, super stoked to see you here, and make sure to smash that subscribe button and give this video a big fat thumbs up but otherwise, let's get into it. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have seen or at least heard of these sugar-free drink mixes. You can find them easily at your local grocery store. I particularly have picked these up over at my local Kroger and Tom Thumb. And I'm sure you can find these over at your general dollar store as well. And in terms of overall cost, we'll touch on that in just a second. But for the sake of this review, normally for my anabolic recipe reviews, I usually touch on three different categories, anabolics, taste and then craving and since there's no protein obviously involved with these we're going to go ahead and just focus on overall taste and cost now overall convenience i think we can all agree that this is extremely convenient powder single packet forms that we can take anywhere and everywhere we go and at the same time could essentially be applied or thrown onto any type of food yeah i don't know about that one but with that you got a bunch of different classic brands here i mean crush when was the last time you actually had a crushed soda drink? It's been forever for me. And at the same time, Kool-Aid, come on. Oh yeah, come on. We're winning here already. So super classic brands and some epic flavors. But for the categories, we're gonna go ahead and score a one to 10 for taste and then also for cost. Is there such a thing as sugar-free sommelier? But super interested to see how the rest of the flavors turn out and to see if there's actually any difference. I will say there is a pretty interesting contrast with a lot of the liquid type of flavors. So if you guys are interested to see how those stack up, let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely get a video out to you guys. But without further ado, let's take a look at the flavors and the brands that we've got. All right, so what we're gonna do for taste, we're gonna go ahead and use eight ounces of water along with one of these packets. So we're gonna start with Crush and then work our way all the way over to Sunkist. So eight ounces of water, one packet each, let the throwdown begin. And yes, code Jason for 10% off. Save yourself some dollar dollar bills. Grab yourself some protein, some pre-workout, some creatine. So first up, crush watermelon flavor. Now I can definitely tell you right off the bat, smelling absolutely awesome. Taste wise. So first impressions, obviously not like the original. For those of you who are familiar with crush, originally was a soft drink, right? So I'm used to having some sort of like the carbonation behind it. You're just not gonna get that with the powder drink mixes. So right off the bat, definitely tasting a little bit different. And second and foremost is really, you can taste the artificial sweeteners. So this, I don't know, I'm gonna go ahead and rate this as like a seven. The flavor is awesome. You really get a nice aroma from it, but flavor wise, the sweetener of just the artificial sweeteners just really kick in. And there is a certain element to like the watermelon flavor that is a little off. And obviously you can just taste the artificialness of it. I'd imagine obviously if you put this into an anabolic ice cream, it's gonna taste a lot different just cause you're gonna have a lot of different other flavors and elements that are just mixing and combining. It might enhance the overall flavor and just give a lot more dimension to it. And that might be the case for all of these but just with plain water, I'm gonna go ahead and rate this as a solid seven. All right, next up, high C. All right, 
So next up, we've got Grabbin' Great by High C. Super classic, obviously childhood memories being brought back here, but we've got grape flavor. Anybody else feel the same way? Anytime you have some sort of like grape soda drink or like liquid form of grape, it always takes you back to having like Robitussin as a kid. That should be interesting. All right, cheers. That's not half bad. I'm gonna adjust my numbers here. I'm gonna say that this is a six. We're gonna go ahead and give this a seven. That flavor is definitely well more rounded out than the crushed watermelon. Now, it's hard to just control all the variables here. Flavor obviously is a little bit different across the board, but straight up just tastes like a normal high C. I mean, the, the grape flavor, there's nothing that's too overly sour. There's no, nothing that's too overly sweet. The artificial sweetener, it's not as overbearing as what you come across for the crushed watermelon. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the solid seven on this one. So what's also gonna be quite interesting to see is the use of the sweeteners in each one of these. I think for the most part, each one of these actually uses Ace K. It's, in my opinion, one of the most cheapest sweeteners out on the market today that I think a lot of supplement companies and drink powder mixes use to sweeten up their products. So for sure, Crush and Hi-C both use Ace K. If you've ever had my protein or diametized proteins, that's what they typically sweeten up their proteins with. So solid seven, Hi-C. Next up, oh yeah. Kool-Aid. Something that I'm actually noticing is that the mixability of these kind of vary. The Kool-Aid one doesn't mix all that well with the spoons. I'd imagine it would be different if you used shaker cup or threw it into a blender, but just for the sake of today's purposes and just what I'm experiencing with the water, mixability is kind of minimal on this one. The watermelon, Crush and also High C mix pretty decent. Take a look at the color spectrum here. These are two pretty lucid drinks. This one right here, that's packing a ton of color. All right guys, cheers. Oh yeah, and flavor, if you haven't guessed it already, Tropical Punch, that's solid. I gotta say this is probably hands down, exactly if not very, very close to what you'd find in actual bottle form. I'm gonna go ahead and rate this as a solid 7.8. It honestly really does taste like as if I just poured it straight from a bottle. First hit with a little bit of a sour, and then the rest is like an even sweet tone. And yeah, overall flavor profile is very well-rounded in comparison to both of these two. So I'm actually gonna say that this, I'm gonna venture to say that the Kool-Aid one is gonna be better than the Starburst, but we'll get to that in just a second. All right, next up, taste the rainbow. Let's get into Skittles. So I will say the Skittles box definitely has way more packets compared to each one of these other ones. You've got 20 packets here and also multiple flavors. So today we're gonna go with green apple. That's quite interesting. There's a ton of powder that just isn't dissolving in this. But anyway, green apple, cheers. So green apple flavor is pretty strong. I will say the sweeter flavor is definitely a little overpowering. <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and rate this as a solid five. I don't know, that sweetener level is pretty high. And again, you know, it could be because I've got eight ounces of water rather than your normal 16.9 ounces, but that's what we're dealing with. So I'm gonna go ahead and, yeah, solid five. Overall though, in terms of flavor, you really get a strong green apple flavor, but basically like halfway through that sweetener just kicks in and for those of you if you like that sweetener the artificial sweetener taste you know maybe that might be a good one for you but for me i'm just not a big fan of artificial sweeteners and just the aftertaste that it just leaves so yeah solid five next up good old starburst blueberry raz we got my boy blue Starburst Blueberry Raz. Yeah, take a look at those colors. Uh, mm, health, cheers. Oh. Guys, trust me when I say this, I'm trying not to be biased, but yeah, flavor profile, I gotta say overall is very strong. And again, I'm trying not to be biased in this, but I gotta say out of these four here, way more dimension to the overall flavor, very consistent throughout, right? Even on the aftertaste and the sweetener isn't as strong or maybe isn't as noticeable in comparison to a lot of these others. And yes, it is very subtle, but at the end of the day, 
especially when you're drinking it with water, I think it makes a difference. Again, might not make as big of a difference if you were to mix it with your overnight oats or even with your anabolic ice creams. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and rate this a solid 8.4. Next up, Sunkist. It actually is quite interesting to see how each one of these stack up because that definitely mixes way better than the Starburst and the Skittles. All right, Strawberry Sunkist, cheers. Okay, so Sunkist Strawberry, definitely right off the bat, I'm gonna recommend this one. Strawberry flavor, again. Now, comparing that to the Starburst, I'm gonna say that's pretty equivalent in terms of overall flavor profile. Now. The strawberry, you're pretty much hit with the citric acid. And for each one of these, citric acid or malic acid is gonna be the number one ingredient. It's gonna give a little bit of the sourness. So whatever you're tasting, whenever you try one of these, if you get a little bit of the sourness on the first taste of it, that's gonna be probably the malic acid or the citric acid. That's basically just sour flavoring. So in terms of the strawberry, you're hit with a little bit of sourness and then evens out with a sweetener. But overall, I gotta say, I think I actually prefer the powder drink mixes compared to the Sunkist actual bottled versions. And to be quite honest, I was never a big fan of Sunkist orange juice. So maybe that's a thing. I always found it to be like way too sweet and way too like sour. And there just wasn't a very good balance. But this one right here, definitely, I could see that being used in an anabolic strawberry ice cream. That wraps up six different sugar-free powder drink mixes. I'm gonna go ahead and put the ratings up on the screen now. And then the Sunkist and Starburst flavors being out on top, both at an 8.4 and very, very strong contenders. So feel free to go ahead and try and check these out. Now, in terms of overall cost, I'm gonna go ahead and put them up on the screen now. Total price that I paid along with per packet. So, which is actually quite interesting because I think for the most part, we're dealing with kind of average range, you know, 150 to like 250 range. But then you've got Skittles, which is at 350. And again, there are more packets, but in terms of total cost per packet, we're looking at a total of 17 cents per packet. So the cheapest out of all of them, but next up in terms of being budget friendly, you've got High C coming at 18 cents per packet. Now, in terms of Sunkist and Starburst packets, we're looking at Starburst being 25 cents per packet and then Sunkiss being 25 cents per packet. So that's interesting to see because the value wise and also flavor wise, I gotta say is pretty equivalent. So I don't know, top two definitely standing now, but that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this video guys. Check out these flavors and try them out in your anabolic recipes. You're gonna go ahead and save a ton of calories or just make things a lot easier when you're really trying to spruce up the flavor profile, especially for your anabolic ice creams and also overnight oats. So stay tuned for some interesting overnight oats coming up, but otherwise stay safe, stay swole, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.